Well, you know what's interesting is when you mentioned Bensonhurst, that was actually where Yusuf Hawkins got killed. Thanks. Rest you, in peace, Yusuf Did you Hawkins. watch that uh, documentary? Um, I did. Uh, yeah, I did. Right. So in that documentary, you basically had a mob of racist Italian kids. Right. And there was a, a group of black kids went there just to go look at a, a used yeah, car. Yeah, a car. They end up getting mobbed by a bunch of guys with bats, and then one of them, Yusuf Hawkins, ended up getting shot in the chest. Right. And that caused all the riots and, and the uproar and everything else right. like that. I mean, all the way to the point where one of the guys involved in that in that mob ended up being an executive of Hot 97. Yeah. Um, Patty Duke. Patty Duke. That's crazy. And once that documentary came out, when they connected the dots and they saw that this guy had been a Hot 97 for like 30 years, wow. he got fired that same day. Wow. And l- let me tell you something. I actually emailed the program director. Once I saw the story start to circulate, just like on a couple of Instagram sites, I emailed the program director at Hot 97. And I said, hey, do you guys have a response to this? And then I didn't get a response, but then I saw an Instagram post like maybe an hour or two later that said, you know, we have decided to to terminate his employment. Wow. Uh, because of his involvement in it. It's kind of crazy how he was really under the radar all these years. Right. Involved in the murder of a black kid and then goes works goes to go work at a black station. Right. You know, a station that caters to the black community right. playing. That, that just shows you like who's really in charge. Well, in terms of that, right? Because like if, if because um, from what I, I I heard Ebro say, people were talking about it. It wasn't like people didn't know about it. Oh, okay. Right? Ebro say he heard about it before. Oh, and and they talked about this before. So that means that the station already knew about it, right? And because it wasn't a big deal, because it didn't go viral, because it wasn't trending, right? It was okay. But now that it's trending, oh, now he's not fit to work here no more. But you guys knew about that for the whole 30 years. Facts. Facts. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. They, they kept him employed knowing right. what they knew. Right. So, yeah. you know, I mean. Well. Hopefully he has some money saved up because to, to get fired from a job like that in such a high profile manner, no other station is going to hire him. Nobody. No, no one wants that he- PR headache. Yeah, he's canceled. Like, you know, Z100 hires yeah, <laughs> Yusuf <crazy>. Hawkin murderer. <laughs> like, crazy. yeah, nah, nah. But uh, to speak on the Yusuf, we, we did, you know, um, I was supposed to come out here uh, to Los Angeles and the Las Vegas la- like a, a couple weeks ago, but um, I canceled to go to the Yusuf Hawkins rally. Uh, mm. And that was like maybe like a week or two after the, uh, it was like two, three weeks after uh, our event in Bensonhurst. And um, the, 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 the people reached out to us, the people that organized it reached out to us and uh, was like, hey, would you come to our rally? And I was like, yo, you know, we just came and did a rally over here. It wouldn't be right if we didn't also show support, you know, to you know, to something that happened, although it was 30 years ago, you know what I mean? It's only right. So I canceled Las Vegas and said, I wanted to go to Las Vegas, you know what I'm saying? But I canceled so we can stand tall with, with the brothers and sisters over there and to show, you know, show some solidarity.